Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a really fun DIY video to show you guys. I'm going to show you how I hooked up these sconces behind me with battery operated LED lights, so no wiring, no electrician. Um, and I think they turned out really great. It's really simple. You can do it with basic DIY skills. Um, I did get this idea from a, an Instagram account I saw. I went to her blog and she had print directions, super easy to follow. So I'll include all that in the description box along with the product links I used. But if you wanna see how to do some electrician free sconces, keep watching. All right, so there's only actually a few things you're gonna to need to do this. First thing is obviously your sconce that you choose. And I chose these. Mine came from Home Depot and I'll give you guys a link in the description box. Um, but I just went with this one. I like the zinc color. It was a little bit more muted than an oil rub bronze and it had kind of that vintage dusty look already to it. And I just went ahead and put it together. Left the light bulb out obviously. And then I'm leaving all of the hardware still on there this way. If I get tired of it, I can take it down. And these are still suitable to be used outside. So I can always update my outdoor lighting if I get tired of the ones on the wall. Um, in the Instagram and blog posts that I saw, she did ones where it was just one over like an entryway or one over like a reading nook. And it turned out amazing. So you don't need to do two. I also picked up some wire and I just got this from the craft section at Walmart. and these LED puck lights. I grabbed mine on eBay, but they are on Amazon. And besides the fact that this is what the blog recommended in their tutorial also, I liked that these were a warm white. You can see on the back. A lot of LED runs really cold and blue, and I didn't want that look. I wanted it to be kind of like warm and inviting. So I went with those. And then I just have some wire cutters and some electrical tape in case I need that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these lights opened up and show you how we're going to hook them up. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and just cut a generous piece of wire. I'd always rather have a little extra left over than try and work with a piece that's too small. And all we're going to do is wire it to hook that light up in here. So I've already got this one done. I'm going to show you what I did. So this is what it's going to look like. It's just got the light bulb socket with this little metal part around it. So I've loosened this metal ring about one or two turns. Not all the way off, just enough that it's loose where you can get the wire underneath. So then I kind of work this wire in underneath and this takes a little bit of maneuvering. Okay. So let me bring you over and just show you how it looks. So I loosened that white ring one or two turns, and now I'm just working this underneath the edge of it. I'm gonna twist these together just to make a tight loop of the wire, and then I'm gonna just tighten that white ring back up. So that's what it's gonna look like after that step. This is twisted around the base. I retightened that white ring. Then you're just gonna take the puck light apart, and you wanna try and find one that has holes on the back, that way it could be mounted. You're going to take it apart. So I've got the back piece here. You're just going to go ahead and thread the wires through those two holes. And then pull it all the way tight to that. Now I'm just going to twist my wires to hold this guy in place in there. And because you're doing it with wire, you can kind of play around and bend it to where you want it to sit. So I'm trying to get it close to center but at least to be level. And then I'm gonna pull it tight and wrap the wires a few times just so that it's secure. So I've got them like that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and trim them off. And because I have like a super worrying type of personality, I am gonna go ahead and just cover everything with uh, one layer of electrical tape. Now obviously, they intend for these to have some kind of metal in the back because they give you metal screws to put through those holes. But on the off chance that, I don't know, the wires touched the batteries and did something, I don't want to have that on my conscience. So I'm just going to put a tiny piece 
of electrical tape over those wires like that. I'm going to push it as flat as I can because I don't want it to stick out and make it harder to put the back on. All right. So we have it really secure like that. And I've already got the batteries loaded in here. And you just got to line up the little grooves to kind of lock it in place. Mine just twists into place. I imagine most of them are going to be similar. Um, I just turned it on in my eyes. I was also thinking that if you weren't going to reuse the light, like if you didn't care about saving the light to be good someday, you might be able to use something like a silicone adhesive type thing. But because I wanted these to be useful again, so that's how it's going to look. When it's hanging up, you're not even going to see them unless you're standing under, and then it's still going to look okay. Now I'm going to show you that's how it looks with the light on. And the thing I like about these lights, they have, like I said, the warm white, but they also come with this remote here. So I'm going to go ahead and use like a command strip or a piece of Velcro, something to kind of hide it behind my curtains near where the lights are. So it's kind of just like having a switch on the wall. But these turn on and off. You can adjust the brightness. You can do 150% or you can do like little increments. And then it's also got a timer, which is probably the function I'll use because then I can turn them on while we're in the living room enjoying like watching TV and relaxing. And if I forget, they'll turn off on their own. So I think that's a really cool function. Now I'm just going to go install them into the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and just put you screws because my walls on that side of the room, I've tried using um, anchors before and the walls are like double sheet rocked and then behind it, I don't know, it, it feels like cement. It's not cement, I don't think, but anchors just didn't go well. Let's leave it at that. So I am just going to go ahead, tuck these in and just screw it right onto the wall. If you guys are going to use anchors, let me show you my favorite kind. So if you're going into drywall or if you're not sure, these are my favorite ones to use. They support up to 50 pounds, so they'd be great for something like this. They're great for most artwork. Um, but the reason I like them is because the anchor itself is metal. So they're designed that if you put it in and you didn't know where the stud was, if you hit it, you should still be able to go through. And they have them at, at um, Walmart, this kind. There's actually a kind at Home Depot that I think actually says something to the effect of like, if you hit a stud, keep screwing. And you can just do it with a screwdriver. You don't need to drill a hole first and hammer in like a plastic one. Um, and let's see the back. Does it say anything? Um, no, it just tells you what it'll hold. So the drywall is 50 pounds. It's higher on other surfaces because you can use it on wood and concrete and hollow block too. Um, I'm not using these for this. I use these mainly to hang heavy artwork. So I'm just going to go screw these back in to the wall and I'll show you guys the finished project. So here's the finished product, you guys. And I really love how this turned out. It just adds like a nice little bit of a warm touch. There it is on the ice cream soda sign. And I was always worried that this side needed something extra because it was just that one piece in the center and then like all that blank wall. So I just feel like that's kind of like the perfect accent. And then over here, there it is over my cubby shelf, just adding like a little bit of light and warmth. So I think they turned out really cool in here and I'm gonna step back and see if we can do both at once. Um, but I could see them also, yeah, there you go. Um, I could see them also going like over an entryway or how cool would they be flanking like the side of your bed? You could shiplap the wall behind your bed. You could add these above your nightstand instead of having a lamp on it. You could save a little bit of table space and have still some lighting to read by. So, I mean, just some ideas. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll try it. If you want to see like print directions, make sure you check out that blog because this idea that I found on her blog was amazing and I'm so glad that I found it and was able to try it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.